Soccer Team Forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, here we go again. We're gearing up for another batch of strong thunderstorms this upcoming weekend. For the time being, pretty quiet across the capital area, mainly for the downtown area and areas further south. 75 at this hour. We've got a lot of cloud cover out there. Winds out of the east northeast now at seven miles per hour. But look at our big picture. We had a nice warm afternoon at 80, just a little bit above normal. We started the day out at 64 degrees. With that warm front driving northward, showers and thunderstorms across central and northern Louisiana eventually pushed. In Mississippi. A lot of these storms are lifting out of the area for us. We can have one little small pocket just across the border now. You see just north of Jackson sliding into southern Mississippi, a little bit of lightning, maybe some smaller hail with this system, some pockets of heavy rainfall around the Jackson area. But for elsewhere, yeah, we are starting to quiet things down tonight. And here's the reason why those isolated thunderstorms, it's all because of that warm front driving northward. But the concern is our next system brewing across central Texas. Texas. We're going to fall underneath that warm sector, and that's where we have the greatest energy or even the possibility for some very long track tornadoes. We're talking big wedge tornadoes for central and northern Louisiana moving into portions of Mississippi. Now, for us, I doubt we're going to see that, but there still is that tornado threat heading into tomorrow afternoon and evening, all ahead of that main line as it starts to drive through. Once the front pushes through, we'll quickly clear out going into Sunday, and yes, we'll get back into quiet conditions and also some cooler temperatures heading into early next week. Watch your future cast. Just give you a little bit of timing. We may even see the chance for some early sunshine tomorrow. So, with all those festivals in place, do it during the morning hours and try to get home by late afternoon. We'll start out with a few isolated thunderstorms. That main line should be driving through sometime between 8 and midnight. And then once that pushes through, well, we'll start to quiet things down. But watch that main line because embedded in that line, we could see some rotating storms, and therefore, we could see some isolated tornadoes quickly spawn and pop up across the area, just like we saw last weekend. Severe threat out there. I do want to point out that we sit underneath a slight risk, climbs a little bit further towards the northwest to an enhanced risk, so that's pretty high on the scale at this point. Same threats. We're talking heavy rainfall, damaging winds, large hail, and even the threat of isolated tornadoes. Here's your future cast. Just to give you a little bit of timing on the rain. I think it's quick. Uh, it's a quick mover out there. So for most areas, we're going to sit in that inch category. Locally, we could see higher amounts, and that could lead to some localized flash flooding. Also, by tomorrow afternoon, make sure those garbage cans are in and your lawn furniture is strapped down because we're calling for wind gusts, anything over 30 miles per hour throughout the afternoon hours ahead of those storms. Once those storms arrive, well, our winds will quickly Quickly start to pick up. Wind advisory for tomorrow severe thunderstorms heading into tomorrow afternoon and evening, and then a cooler and a dry picture heading into your Sunday. The very latest, get on iHeartRadio of Baton Rouge over the weekend if you're on the go. Obviously, we've got a busy weekend out there with a lot of things going on. 83 down to 59, but stay weather aware. Pay attention to those evening hours as those storms could be strong to severe. Make sure your cell phone is charged. Down to 70 for that high with some sunshine on Palm Sunday. Oh, 47 overnight, and then after that, it's a pretty Quiet forecast moving into early next week. Your skin meter brought to you by Selvin. Looks like we're going to be sitting in that high category as we enter the weekend. So, again, it's going to be another busy weekend out there with a lot of festivals going on from Blues Fest to uh, French Quarter Festival to the Strawberry Festival. Try to do everything or try to get out there early because those evening hours could get a little dicey. Apparently, the Catfish Festivals in Monroe, they've already canceled it. Oh, yeah. The northern of half of the state, they're they're in it for the down. worst. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. We know you'll be watching it. All mm -hmm. right. Sports is next.